What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to set up a custom domain inside of CPA Lead, which is an affiliate network. You may want to do this for mainly two reasons. One is if you're not using any sort of tracking system and you want to um, have a domain link or, or, or just an affiliate link that looks better than what you're provided in this case, viral481.com slash blah, 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 blah. You want to have your own domain like mydomain.com, you can do that. The other reason why you may want to do this is if you're using a third-party tracking system and viral481.com is not allowed, such as, for example, with Click Magic, due to uh, tons of you know bad offers um, and it doesn't want to be associated with it, um, if you use a custom domain and you know that the offer is good, you, you would be able to promote it that way. So let's get started. Here I am in my CPA lead dashboard. What I would want to do is go into settings and go into custom tracking document. And here you're provided all the instructions of, of what you have to do. So this is the, uh, the um, IP address to which you need to point your records for your domain to in order for it to work right away. Okay. So here I am in Namecheap. Let's suppose I have this product, luminosproductisgreat.club. Let's suppose this is the domain I bought. And let's suppose I prefer to use this domain over um, whatever, whatever other um, affiliate link I'm provided here. Like, like I said, viral481.com. Okay. So what you need to do, you know, the process is exactly the same, whether you're using Namecheap or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you want to make sure that the name servers aren't pointed towards a custom DNS, not to web hosting DNS. It, it's just set to basic. And then you should go into advanced DNS settings. Now, over here, the only thing you have to do, the only thing you have to do, disregard these. This is because I'm using Click Magic to track with this domain. So disregard that. The one thing you have to do to set up a custom domain and integrate it from your domain provider with CPA lead is to create an A record. So you would select a record here. So uh, with, an, with an at host and point it to this value that you were provided here, okay? So what you would do, if, if you have some things here and you're not sure what it is and you are only using this domain only for CPA lead, you don't have a website with it, you can just remove everything again if you have no need for that domain which you buy you only want to use it for cpa lead custom tracking you can delete what you have and then you can add a new record you would select a record for host put in the at symbol and then put in that ip address 52.71.60.1 now i'm not going to do it again because there's no point adding it twice uh, but that's basically the process you would do regardless of what domain register you're using godaddy Namecheap, Bluehost, uh, one and one. This is the same process. Then what's going to happen is you'll be done. Okay. So you'll just have to give it some time for it to propagate. And then your custom domain should be accessible. I would give it, you know, 24 to 48 hours. And then here's how it would work. So now we can go into our offers and let's find an offer that we like. Okay. So I'm going to go into offers here and select Canada so I can actually see those offers and we can log on the page. It doesn't give me a redirect message. Let's just look at something here, uh, Fish Fun. Uh, let's go with, uh, say, fitness free trial, okay? So let's suppose we want to create a custom domain out of this link. So let, you know, this is your affiliate link. Now this doesn't look very pretty, so obviously we don't want to use it. So here's what the page will look like, okay? I'm just gonna click open, you know, they're going to try out different pages. So this isn't the one and only page, but this is one of the pages that Fitness has. This is one of the pages you will potentially be sending your users to. Now, let's suppose I want to use a custom domain. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to paste it into a notepad or a Microsoft document or whatever, wherever it is I want to store it. And now I'm going to take, um, let's quickly go back. Let me, let me see what it was that we needed to add in really quickly. Let me go back to custom track documentation. So we need to take this part right here and we need to replace it with the entire beginning up until that question mark there. So what I'm going to do is replace it like this. Now we need to actually input our domain. So our domain name is this luminous product is great at 12. Okay. So I'm going to go back here and replace that here. So 
this right here now is our new affiliate link to the product using this new um, custom tracking domain okay that we've created so you you would just have to follow the template here as it says okay so um here's your link you just have to replace this part with your domain and then slash offer.php which is what we've done here so now if i go ahead and take this and copy it here as you saw there was a little redirect and then it took me to this page this fitness page and like i said they do split test their page variation so uh sometimes i'm gonna go on this page sometimes i'm gonna go on another page but as you can see you know this is the domain i've already set it up beforehand so that we I could show you live that it is working because it had to take 24 to 48 hours but as you can see this is what happened this domain straight away redirected me to my affiliate link and like i said this is one of the few pages i could have landed on one of their other variations okay but the link does work so now instead of this um link here i can just use the one that i've set up in my notepad and now every time you have a new offer what you can do is simply replace this part so for instance you're given this what you can do is just copy that right so for the new offer and just replace it here and that will be the different id for your offer but that's pretty much it that's how you would use this custom domain for your products on cpa lead uh, that's how you can set it up okay so that's pretty much it that's what i wanted to share with you in this video if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.